this recipe is spiced date and satsuma porridge and for me this is a real nostalgic recipe. I developed this recipe because it reminds me of my childhood at Christmas time and Christmas for me was the only time when I was a child ever having dates and also satsumas they were something that kind of came with the Christmas stocking. Now dates are definitely something we have much more in our diet and um, I use both dates and date syrup in my cooking but this recipe really still for me has a very nostalgic take to it but it's also so don't just think of it as a Christmas recipe. We have so many wet, cold mornings here in Britain that this recipe is perfect at any time of the year. So it's a nice comforting porridge. For this porridge, I'm using probably one of my favorite oats and that's the jumbo oats because they have a much bigger surface area and when you cook them up with milk, they become really nice and creamy. So it's a really nice luxurious porridge to have. So I'm just going to be measuring out 80 grams of the jumbo oats. And then into that, I'm putting 250 mils of cold water. And then I'm gonna put 200 mils of full milk in there. Now I'm gonna give that a really good stir into all the oats, make sure all the oats and all the water and all the milk's mixed up. And then what I'm gonna be doing is adding some zest, and this is the zest of the satsuma. Now you just need to be quite careful that you don't get any of the pith, that's the white stuff under the skin, because all you want is some of the, the actual orange color, because that's where the flavor is, and also all the zestiness. So just carefully, just grate that into the porridge oats. You want the zest of one, maybe two, depending how fragrant you really want the porridge. It's a good idea to give your fruit a wash well, you really do need to wash it before you're zesting into the porridge. And so then you stir all the zest through the water and the milk and the oats. And then you want to put the gas onto a high heat. I like to cook them for the first minute on a really high heat and stirring constantly. Then I'll reduce the heat to a simmer and just stir occasionally. Okay, so I'm going to add some of the spice now to this and this is uh, just a mixed spice so you've got lots of different flavors like cloves and nutmeg and cinnamon so some real wintry warming spices so just a fraction under a teaspoon and stir that all through the cooking porridge and I can really really get those smells coming through now of all the different spices and the zest so I'm going to put some of the satsuma segments into the porridge so I'm just going to peel off Take all the outer peel off and any of the white pith as well. Take that off. You don't want that into the porridge. And then just break it apart and then put, I'd put a whole satsuma into the porridge. So as I'm stirring, I begin to realise it is ready when it's obviously a lot harder to push the spoon through, so it's becoming very thick. But it's more by just looking at it, you'll see a really nice creamy consistency coming through and you know that the porridge is ready to serve then. So now I'm going to take the dates, probably about six. So this porridge recipe is for two servings, so you want quite a few dates. And then all you're doing is just slicing them really fine. So you want to actually garnish the porridge, but you still want to get lots of the date flavour and some of the sweetness as well. So just very small slices, and they will just be sprinkled over the top of the porridge. Okay, so all the ingredients are stirred in, and the porridge is nicely cooked now, and I'm ready to serve up. So spoon a good portion into the bowl and then sprinkle with a nice handful of dates finally. And this is the final porridge ready to be eaten nice and hot.